Hello, welcome to the Video Gamer UK podcast. When this console generation came around, so the one we're in now, is that Konami got really caught out. And they did, but PES 6 is still one of the best football games ever made. That's true, but they could only get... <laughs> so the one with that Adriana on the front. Yeah, you could score good. from anywhere, including that cover. But the... <laughs> um, including the main fucking menu. But... Um, Ah, Mr. David Scammell. I'm really excited for your little holiday, Chris. Not because you're oh. going to be out of the office for two weeks, but because of all the possibilities that may happen on this holiday. All the stories we get when Why? you return. Ah, oh, immediately we went for the holiday. So you're off to Magaluf, right? I'm not off to Magaluf. The best bit is Chris doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> I'm off to... Which I... airport are you going to? Uh, Manchester. Manchester? Yeah. Why? Because my friends live in Stoke. So, we're gonna... so why can't you fly on a separate <laughs> flight and meet them there? Because that's anti-social. Are you and this is ba- a lads banter holiday. We we don't fly alone. <laughs> oh god, lads was... banter. He said that as well. Like we should be impressed. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was an ironic use of the lads no. banter. Are you going to get up to the sort of banter which I heard once from a from someone about a guy he used to live with, right? Whose brother? Mm-hmm. All right, it's getting it's getting yeah, a bit okay. out of hand. This now, is this is clearly really Steve. <laughs> this I, is clearly I Steve. met the guy in question, not the brother. The, the other you guy. are the guy in question. Yeah. No, um, I'm not. I wish I was. And apparently, this guy's brother got very drunk mm-hmm. uh, before flying out on a lads' holiday with the lads, and they were all a bit boisterous, wearing yep. you know England football shirts and being those a bit guys. Bit Larry, yeah. And yep. um, during the takeoff procedure, what this guy really needed to go to the toilet and was frustrated and drunk and angry and belligerent. He wasn't allowed to because, you know, they were flying into the sky in a metal <laughs> tube. Yep. So he just, apparently, he just stood up and went, what about this? And just pissed himself. Oh, <laughs> this sounds just like you, Burns. Yeah. That is, Sorry. That, that, is, that is brave. Let, I, I didn't move on from that story. So that is disgusting. So that, that is, <laughs> that is <laughs> disgusting. I don't know what, I don't <laughs> know what he was... a mid-air sh- airplane pisser. I don't it's know what amazing. he was trying to prove. I it's, mean, that's going to be uncomfortable for him. Yeah, for, for the rest of the flight the, as well. That, but that's mm. going to be you. Is that Braz. the level I've got to match? Braz, don't, please don't match it. What just... games have you been playing? Uh, <laughs> that is absolutely this is the worst story I've ever heard. Mom, you've got a uh, history of, of going off topic. And basically, anecdotally, this is one of the best examples of that is from another journo friend of mine who was interviewing him. in, And the journo was in Bournemouth and he was on the phone. And their ski, uh, seagull squawked in the background. Mom, you chuntering away like... Oh, blah, blah, and he went... Where are you? <laughs> the guy went, uh, what? He's like, I'm in the office. He's like, but where is your office? He's like, oh, it's in Bournemouth. He's like, the seaside. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> he just carried on. Yeah. I, I don't even think, um, like, PVZ2, if you want to call it that. Not really. Not really. But we're here um, now, so. Is, I, I don't think, it, it's, it's definitely not the worst example of that. And, like, the first Robo-Cop few hours of it. Robocop iOS is the worst example great, of that. Really? One weapon costs 170 pounds. What? <laughs> That, yep. That's not real. <laughs> it is. You kind of feel like a lot of that we, stuff is how? just set up to try and screw over kids yeah. who how do, shouldn't how have access to stuff. How do they frame that? Stuff. Well, we figured it out. Like, so this, I can't remember what the, what the weapon was, but it cost, you know, let's say 20,000 Robocop points or whatever. And we worked it, it was something like for 6,000 Robocop points, it cost like 70 quid. We worked it out and the gun was 170 pounds. 169.99. That who gun would, would ever pay you. that? Who would want that weapon that much? It's a pretty good weapon. Yeah, but in a oh. game like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> can I spoil the end of Far Cry? I don't know. Um, yeah. Everyone you can. just turn down for literally Check, like 30 uh, seconds. 30 seconds. This is your Sorry. warning. But don't. Don't, doesn't it end like if you have sex with the head of the tribe you get killed or something you get a choice don't you you get a choice what to do you either kill her or you kill your girlfriend don't you fuck me and uh, a choice it's already kill her why'd you kill your girlfriend well it's, this is the whole logic thing I don't understand it at all because the whole point of the game is you're trying to save your girlfriend and then at the end of the game you're offered the choice to either save your girlfriend and go home <laughs> <laughs> or or murder the shit or out stay of her. with this kind of mystical magical woman and have option? sex with her and then while she's having sex with you 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 ejaculate and make her pregnant and then she stabs you in the heart and it's like fuck Far Cry 3 <laughs> fuck what the fuck is that shit <laughs> that's fucking bollocks that's video imagine that's a, it's like when you it's like every time I try and fucking introduce people to professional wrestling oh you'll love it and then a fucking midget comes out dressed as a horse and I'm like oh <laughs> don't worry it's about not, it just leave it it's with, not usually like this exactly it does sound like like the worst example of video games being bollocks I'm like what can we do at the end player agency we can have a bit of a wank yeah. fancy, yeah. 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 Maybe, the, maybe we can have a bit at the end where they get to choose who they want to shag. Yeah. Does what, it seem what, relevant what, to the story? What do players uh, do? Yeah. 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 Choices, sex, right, I've got it. <laughs> that, that, that was a nice stall. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Miller Instinct. That's all right, Miller Instinct. It's, uh, all right, what's the question this week? I don't have my phone on I've me. got the question. So I need I've you got to the get question. one. 
This was a good question, actually. I remembered it. I remember it off the top of my head. Miller. Mm. Come on, who's this from? Because it's off the top of my head. Fluorescent lighting or candlelight? Oh, candlelight. Why? It's sexy. <laughs> oh, god. oh god that's correct oh, the correct the correct answer right. but also we're taking I feel all the candles out of yeah. our office i'm gonna turn the lights off and we're going to little get some candles next question i read a review of quake 3 arena the other day in yeah. a copy of pc gamer from mm-hmm. about was it pc gamer it was pc something what inspired that nostalgic look back no space? i was just looking back at all oh, i've got a load of magazines i took a photo of one actually do you want to see it i nearly put it on the oh, internet and i thought no because this podcasting could... this yep this could, uh, Shall we look at the photos on, on Dave's phone? Carry on, and I'll, I'll find it for you. Okay. Uh, look at the, look. Hang on, I found it already. Look at those classic magazines. Maybe we can put this picture in the video think, stream. You could. I think I've got to now. Oh, God. Just read out one of the competitions on there, if you, uh, if you so will. And maybe one of the features. Win a night with Jordan. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a video game magazine. What's the feature? What's the feature? Uh, on which one? Which Middle one. Middle one. Uh, we've got Dancing Queens. So you think Space Channel 5's La La La? Ooh La La La. Yeah. I don't know how to say that. Is pretty sassy. We asked some real dancing girls what they thought. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this, is, this is incredible. I can't believe... Games mags. Fucking hell. <laughs> they were the first three that and I picked up. There were no... Uh, games journalism controversies back then either. No, nope. I am so. It's only now when we're shit. tame and ethical. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So Maybe yeah. should we put a thumbnail of that in there? Why not? Uh, you really used to have like private conversations with your MSN friends, and it's like stuff that you know. Who's your top ten? And you'd put song lyrics, wouldn't you? <laughs> Who's oh. your top ten? Do you not know, ever do that? The nineties were fucking garbage. I, I was as well, in I was they? in like high garbage. school when MSN Messenger was a thing. Who's your top ten was a a, a fine. I don't know what top, fine start. What are you question. talking about? Who's your top ten? Who's your top ten favorite? You know, favorite what? Members of who are you interested in? What romantically? Who, this fan, this is fan? Shagger's fucking lad past what coming to the fore. Exactly. All through MSN. What yeah. you you had people on MSN. Oh, right. But why? Who's your top ten? But why was that dictated through MSN? Why wasn't it not just like? Because MSN was, was very new then, and it was like the way that everyone used to talk to each other in the evenings after school. But surely you knew those people in real life. It wasn't who's your top ten on MSN. I bet everyone you said this to, no, I bet like, yeah. everyone you said this to was just like, fuck off, bro. Oh, what? <laughs> it was just me. <laughs> who's oh, no. your top ten, eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want to know who, who, who I want to touch with my penis? <laughs> Hey, what if Chris, it was fuck just off. me. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, everyone was... in Stoke was like, you listen to this, boys, chat's fucking chronic. That's why you had to move to Liverpool. <laughs> make you happy. Happier than money. What you're saying is muscle passion makes you happy. Basically, I'm saying passion over, money. passion over money. Yeah, always. Always. Always live your passions. Always live your dreams. If you're out there and you have a goal and you want to what? achieve something, well, you're not even believe in yourself. your opinion on life. It's true. You're, believe you're in yourself and believe that you can... Anything. You seem to think that because I'm aware of the situation that I'm, I'm depressed about it. I'm not. No. We might live on a gigantic game preserve on a rock in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We may be thinking machines ticking our way down to death but that is a reason to celebrate that's exactly. the Steve Jobs answer Just you're already dead have fun I'm going to go to the chicken place at lunchtime <laughs> and you go give me that chicken burger and they say sir you've been in here three times today and I'll go we're already dead and be like yes but you, you sooner gotta, than I <laughs> is that, he's right you've got to believe in yourself and you've got to believe that you can, can go it? higher than even you think is possible. I'm not sure that's what oh, Steve was saying. No, that's what I was saying. He was exactly going to the chicken shop three times in a week. He didn't think he could do it, but he's going to prove <laughs> that's, it wrong. And also, that's, that, that's regarding money, my attitude is probably the same as Steve McQueen's. His quote is saying, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you options. Mm, yeah, but you know, you can't give up your passions and don't give up your passions and you know, believe in yourself. And once you've stopped listening to this podcast, Think about what it is you want from life. And go and seize it. Because even if you don't succeed, the fact that you're trying will put you in good stead. Exactly. You want some death. Tomb somewhere. Raider Definitive right. Edition looks better than Tomb Raider. Yeah. Looks there be- we are. And on PS4 as mm. well. Oh, Again. and the PS4 is a better version as seems to runs be. Runs at 720 theme. frames per second on That's PS4. That's all the frames. Yeah. And it only runs at three on Xbox One. And yeah. it actually gave me a blowjob. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I think we've, we've covered the main news of the week, which is Flappy Bird and, and all that stuff. So should we move on to some questions? I think we should, I, Dave. What I, do you, what I've do you got, think? I've got a question. Up? My first question is, did Dave Scammell get a blowjob from Tomb Raider? Yes, he did. Yes, yes okay, he's, right, he's confirmed good. that once okay, already. I'd, I'd like good. to move on. Only the PS4 version. Um, That'd be a great headline, wouldn't it? <laughs> Square reveals PS4 version will give you head. 
Microsoft says, who needs head? <laughs> Have a wank. It's in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've got a question from Katie120 here who says, hey guys, Katie here. Don't yeah, the like one. the Xbox One is garbage as well. It really is garbage. Like, it's fucking trash, man. Like, just why would like, you buy just one? Just like to remind two? everyone that the. Uh, he was going to buy three. Opinions expressed by the individuals in this room do not represent the company. Yeah, I have previously bought oh, two. Honestly. No, it's such you a you fall from to get grace. one for the, the living room as well, yeah, just yeah, as a Blu ray player yeah. and a Netflix streaming box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, mate. Spend your money on whatever. But. You know, but you could you buy a Blu-ray down the toilet got, and an Apple TV for less than the cost. I've got the one. I've got the the disc drive problem that I mean, plagues launch <clears throat> consoles and has only just reared its head C- in you, my console. Can you imagine though how devastated you'd be if, if Quantum Break comes out and you can't play it? <laughs> 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 There's plenty of good games coming out on Xbox yeah, One name, this year. Go on, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Forza Motorsport Six. <laughs> Forza Motorsport 6 Halo 5 <laughs> <laughs> Those games are for fucking idiots <laughs> Okay Look who you're talking to We are okay. professional idiots Burns, Burns I'm looking forward to Rise of the Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider yeah. Sounds like Forza. some shit you'd see on that movie's 24 channel <laughs> It's Tomb Raider <laughs> That fucking Tomb Raider reboot is fucking rubs as well Everyone's what, like, last year? Everyone's I, like, oh, I love that Tomb Raider reboot. I'm really, really looking forward to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, it's really good. She's, oh, it's all about Burns, survival. You, you kill a man, and then Again, you kill 200 other to. men. Look, because when I first went to play online games on PS2, I had to go out and buy a 49.99 network adapter, shove oh, it into yeah. the back of my PlayStation 2, wait 40 minutes for the actual thing to start working, by then you're not going to get outside. I remember buying SOCOM when it came with the... the headset yeah, and the adapter and you're trying to do the, the voice commands with that with my accent <laughs> and that shitty headset no nah, didn't work with your accent what are you talking about it couldn't understand you my accent was worse back then as I well. don't think that was you that's the go game go on how did you I, sound I, go on fuck off not doing it that's, that's how, how you sounded it. <laughs> jeez what a rude yeah. child you were <laughs> honestly it was terrible Jonathan Tipper shall I get the Witcher this week or wait for the Elder Scrolls on PS4 for online play that's is that fun. not worth waiting <laughs> well this is why I wanted to bring it up don't buy the Elder Scrolls you online over the Witcher serious. 3 yeah don't do that and finally Paul Nolan most of my key mm. wouldn't mind having Lego versions of them really yeah. if I could then put them into a game I wouldn't mind yeah. that massively is that either. WWE Lego <laughs> not officially I don't think I'm, I'm, Imagine I'm that saying that. that slightly reserved but that's what I mean if it did go that far then I probably would invest into it do you, do you know what I love about that you said not officially as in well I have got the paintbrush <laughs> well, <no. laughs> out <and laughs> well, that exists there's a, there's a very big WWE Lego community on the internet <laughs> holy shit whether, really yeah, yeah whether or not that's official stuff I don't know I presume it's not <laughs> that's but is that so specific? How is there a community for that? Well, because people are like recreating matches with Lego toys, I guess, and they think <laughs> we got to make our own. There's a big WWE. Yeah, Lego I show when we, when we get out of here. I show it to you. I show you all the me. YouTube stuff. But um, do they do Playmobil as well, or is that a different crowd? Do they fight? I think maybe they snick a Playmobil every now and then. And there's like dissension from the community. You can't put a Playmobil counter in here. It's you Lego. don't know anything about Playmobil. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Stink with Lego, assholes. But do you know the story about the memory cards? And how much they cost. So when, oh, I had my big, jo- big, yeah, when I had big, my, big, my big, job with Sony, I'd literally been there two days as in a meeting. And a bunch of... Uh, <laughs> this story again. This is amazing. Yeah, a bunch of executives sat around having a big UK Sony meeting. I'm so not supposed to tell these you stories. You absolutely are not. Um, and, <laughs> and they were talking about the PS2 memory card. Do you remember that 30 quid thing they used to sell? They really 30 quid? They were tw- I bought... Because I literally bought one two days prior for 30 quid. And they all sat around their table saying... We've now got the like PS2 memory card down to 30p manufacturing cost, <laughs> and we're still going to charge 30 quid. And in unison, they all went, ha, 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 <laughs> started laughing. And I sat there going, not very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, man. bad day. I think my worst gaming memory. Lawsuit. <laughs> it's a true story. It's, it's a the fact. theme of this podcast. It's a fact. Like when they tried to call Resistant after a Nazi website. Go on, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. They did. That's why Fall of Man was added after Resistance. Because they went to Resistance.com and went, oh shit. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> um, don't, think, don't think mine's ever going to top any of this. But, um, um, you're never going to hear from me in this podcast again. I'm going to be in jail. <laughs> Uh, no, my, my worst gaming memory of all time is the long and slow crushing realisation that the Amiga wasn't a viable platform anymore. Oh, Jim, that's long horrible. Over, long overdue. Well after Capcom. Um, Cap- Capcom? Well after Commodore bought it as well. Like, oh. like, you know, years later, it was like, 
can't get any games for this anymore. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. There's a controversial Lol. one. I'm excited for it now. Lol. Rubbish. No, but everyone, so, everyone was shitting all over the original Mirror's Edge before it came out, and it's one of the best games ever made. I remember a lot of people going, what is I this? I, 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 remember, no, I remember say, people saying it was shit at the time, and then yeah. at some point since it came out, and b- between since it came out and now, people have suddenly transitioned to loving it, Amazing and I don't know game. where the transition has it's happened. brilliant. And Do I've you got, give it a nine, Milo? Can we, I can't, well, yes, but there's a story to that. Sorry. Oh, all oh, right. Well, well. Because, can we tell it? I don't think he works in the industry. Fuck it, who cares? I always do this. Right, so EA... Um, oh, is this the pipe thing? Is it the pipe thing? I don't know. Tell I it. Tell it. But I EA, think we're indicting ourselves. Working, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm excited. On, I was working on a magazine, and the way magazines used to work is, right back in the day, I'm an old man now, was you would get offered exclusive reviews. So oh, yeah. Someone yeah. working for a company that may or may not have been associated with Mirror's Edge rang me up and said, look, if we send you the code early and you play it, and you like what you play, you know, if you basically, if you can get to a score before we have to decide who has our exclusive review, we'll give it to you. And I thought, well, that's fair enough. As long as I get to play it and give it the score mm. I believe. They didn't tell me what score they wanted. And I thought, fine. Now, be it because life is shit and that's what happens. I didn't get to play that much of it. So I played it and I thought, I played maybe an hour. And I thought, oh, it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's kind of fun. The guy was, he rang me up and I said, I can't tell you what score I'd give it because I didn't have enough time to play it because I have deadlines and stuff. He goes, well, what would you give it if I, if I if said you must give me a score now? I said, I don't know, probably like a seven or an eight. So he went, well, you're not getting it. I was like, <laughs> all right, fine. I don't really care that much. Like, I'm not playing this game. This is, mm. this, this is the <laughs> most unethical game I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and then obviously so it went to wherever it went. I sat down, I finished the whole thing and did it. Why not give it a nine out of 10? He rang me back and goes, you told me you were going to... You can't get mad. I gave it a better score than you thought. I thought it was excellent. It's one of those games where I never, ever replay through games. I must have replayed Mary's Edge four or five times. On my first run, I did the no gun run because I just thought it was so fun. I thought that the, I thought the mechanics and everything was just, oh, I think it's a wonderful game. And I, that's why I've got faith in this one. They know what they're doing. It's, um, Helena Sell. Very good. Oh, okay. uh, she's got a very cracking username um the only game mold i ever completed was ps1 medal of honor and he said quote i could just have done that in real life instead <laughs> so, <laughs> you know um dads right prostate puncher says <laughs> <laughs> these fucking people that i've brought into the fold with me, honestly <laughs> prostate puncher says what's the most your dad video game out there the most Yoda video game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Snake. Snake on the phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. I think you fucking nailed it there. Yeah, that was yeah. 100% die. Like, <laughs> it feels like more of a puzzle game than a platformer. Right. Like sort of limbo, that sort of game perhaps. How's, okay. How's the jump? Because you watched the, uh, the video and you're mm. like, oh, his jump looks weird, mate. Well, <laughs> 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 the physics. You said it exactly like that as well. <laughs> they're not like little big planets physics, but I guess... It, floaty. It, no, but they're not floaty. It's oh, very... Right. I think you jump and you're on the floor already. It's very, Gravity kicks it, your ass. It's not heavy, but the, the jump button, it's not really a jump button. Okay. I mean. um, Thank you very much for listening and... Um, Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Happy New Year. Ever timely day. And Simon will be back next week. Bye. Hello. Hello.